MCM stands for Mine Countermeasures. It's where we go down diving and, and conduct uh, undeads, underwater demolitions, mine locations, the removal of mines uh, off of vessels, more specifically limpet mines. It's been a big focus on this year's mission set at 2JA. Exercise 2JA is an MCM mine act that the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force does annually up here in Mutsu Bay. They are kind enough to invite U.S. forces to participate. So for this exercise, we're diving on the mine shapes that the Japanese mine sweepers and mine sweeper tenders drop. Uh, we're locating them, uh, blowing them up with EOD procedures, and then raising them to the surface. Because there's nothing really more cohesive than going out and executing high-risk operations together and learning from one another in that environment. You know, surprisingly enough, we haven't had much of a language barrier. We uh, kind of communicate with a lot of humor and gestures, and uh, a lot of the boys have uh, already been introduced formerly from prior exercises. So our relationship with the JMSDF EOD guys is really, really good. At this point, we've built up a lot of rapport with them. This is my third exercise with them, but for my platoon, it's our fourth. Uh, we get along with them really well. We work together really well. I'm hoping that we can build relations with the JMSDF even further than we already have. And also increase capability and interoperability between US EOD and JMSDF EOD. Partnership with the Japanese, in my opinion, is incredibly important because they have what is considered to be one of the premier mine warfare forces. Look around, you can see almost 11 minesweepers. Having such a close ally with such a capability is very, very important to the U.S. And I hope that in the future, it continues to go that way.